and I'm Daniel Horvat, uh, the researcher of Stucky, and I'm the technical leader of this project. So we are here now at Homodishkula in France, an exhibition that um, came from a collaboration between the Emilab team at Stucky and myself. So um, in general in the exhibition you see mainly the collaboration project we worked on during the past weeks and also some projects um, that I did previously on the topic of the automation of labor. First we're going to show you what we did here together. So the basic concept was to create an installation in which a robot arm can assemble another robot arm and in the second stage also designs a third generation of robot arm. We are using artificial intelligence to detect different kinds of objects and this is more specifically we are using uh, convolutional neural networks and transfer learning. So how the computer vision model works is that we, having, we are getting a pre-trained model uh, on many, many images on an online data set. And then we are giving them new examples, uh, synthetic and real world examples. And with these images, we retrain the network to detect these, in this case, these three objects, which are the parts of the, the newly built robot. Since the recent decade in computer vision, deep learning is influencing how we do things. And you can see an example here as well, as we use a deep convolutional neural network. Previously to deep learning, engineers and scientists were hard-coded features that hard-coded what the computer vision module should look on an image. But after deep learning, the, the, the model learns itself a hierarchical representation of the objects. And this way it's way more efficient than the prog programmer would tell what to look for on an image. We are exploiting this new new deep learning technology in this demonstration as well. So in this position, the robot takes a picture and then finds the object that it needs to grab, and then goes up uh, from uh, top of the object and takes another picture to calibrate uh, the position better, and then uh, grasp the object. It's important that if we have a center point in the in the pixel coordinate system, we need to transform it to the robot coordinate system so it actually knows what to grasp. So I basically started um, my research during my master thesis when I studied design and um, was developing a fictional office called Post Laboratory in which citizens or participants can automate their own labor. And at the Post Laboratory there are engineers, designers, but also social scientists and psychologists working, helping through the development process of designing and building a robot or an automating technology helping to not only automate your labor on, on a physical level but also figuring out how you individually want your future to look like. So you can see several outcomes of the project here in the shape of two robot props I developed in the beginning of the project, but also a few videos how this process can look like. 
So another output from this project was this chatbot developed together with Balto Laboratories in Eindhoven and the accountancy firm Johan Knecht so, and the programmer Norma Doiske. So we developed a chatbot which helps you to figure out how to invest your money in order to automate your own job. So it raises the question if by investing our money we can shape technological development and our own future. So this small robot is looking for water. So I made it because we're here at the former swimming pool. And um, it's using the technique of um, going with the dosing rod, um, which is a mystic technique of um, finding water sources under the ground. So you basically have two metal rods, or originally um, people working with this technique had um, sticks that were formed like a Y um, and walked around and as soon as either the stick goes down or in the case of metal sticks they cross, you found a water source under the ground. So if you're interested in this project, come and visit us at Stucky. It's open until the end of October. Thank you. Thank you very much.